Well, hello again. I'm Gail Kimbrough. And I'm Jeff Barron. We're going to be talking today, Gail, about AGM batteries. AGM, absorbed glass That's mat Matt. batteries. That's exactly right. Uh, yeah, we love those. They are very, very good batteries for today's exciting uh, vehicles that we have to work with. You know, Jeff, we've heard a lot about AGM batteries lately, and people are eager to learn more about their advantages and application. Please tell us a little more. Well, you got it, Gail. So, absolutely. So, AGM batteries are indeed a game changer out there in the automotive world. So, let's start with just talking about the basics with them. Yeah. So, an AGM battery, absorbed glass mat, is a sealed lead acid battery that uses a glass mat separator that holds the electrolyte in there. Why are they essential in the automotive? So, Gail, AGM batteries are vital in the automotive industry because of their high performance and the reliable and typically longer lifespan compared to your traditional flooded lead acid batteries. And they provide excellent power for starting engines and supporting various electrical systems. So the sealed design enhances safety and eliminates concerns about acid leaks. Not that we've ever seen that before. Oh, no. So they're ideal for powering all of the modern cars, advanced features and accessories. That's what you're saying. That's exactly right. So with the growing demand for the advanced features, we call that electrification. Yeah. AGM batteries are crucial for meeting the power requirements and ensuring that smooth operation of the automotive system itself. Well, that is great. You know, but why do AGM batteries need to be vented when used within an enclosed car? So, Gail, there's a really good question around that and a really good answer. So, AGM batteries, just like any battery, are going to release gases, all right? Primarily hydrogen, but during that charging, it's venting and it's essential to prevent any of that buildup of the flammable gases. So, this reduces the risk of fire or explosion uh, and ensuring the passenger safety in there. So, in fact, some cars, high performing that is, have batteries under the seat and in obscure places that make ventilation so very, very important. Well, safety first is very important, always. So how, how do AGM batteries differ from standard flooded batteries? Well, as you were saying earlier, Gail, AGM batteries have a distinct design. Unlike flooded batteries with free flowing liquid electrolyte going throughout the battery itself, AGM batteries use a absorbed glass mat separator that holds the electrolyte. So it's still got, you know, liquid electrolyte, but it all gets absorbed into that glass mat. So this eliminates the risk of any acid leaks and allows for maintenance free operation. You know, that safety is so important for us, and it's regulated by the government, but and other, other things, insurance companies, et cetera, but very important for safety. Yes. So AGM batteries are also more vibration resistant and making them suitable for various mounting, hopefully not on its uh, top, but you can actually put these on the side in a trunk. Plus they have a lower self discharge rate and longer lifespan than the traditional flooded battery. So the ability to provide higher power output in short bursts and faster recharges makes it ideal for some of the demanding applications that are out there. That's impressive. They are the ultimate choice for many automotive applications. How do AGM batteries meet higher power requirements of hybrid cars and advanced features? So, excellent question. AGM batteries are well suited to meet the power requirements of hybrid cars and advanced features due to the high power density. So, they can also deliver a significant amount of power in short bursts, making them perfect for hybrid applications that need quick burst of power during acceleration or mode switching. That's very good because that's impressive. And are there any specific applications where AGM batteries may not be suitable? That's an important question. Yes, yeah, so AGM batteries have specific voltage requirements that some of these are a little bit lower in different applications. So it's crucial to consider the voltage needs of the equipment before choosing an AGM battery for that application. So voltage is important and charging is also Exactly. Important. Good to know. And what about battery performance over time? 
How do they do? So over time, an AGM battery capacity may decrease. A self-discharge rate will also occur with these batteries when in non-use. Key thing is it's a lot slower than what it is for a traditional flooded battery. And features like temperature extremes and inadequate maintenance can affect the longevity of these things. So proper usage of regular maintenance and following manufacturer recommendations can help maximize performance and extend the battery's lifespan. Absolutely, and I understand now. Regular maintenance is essential for AGM batteries. Just like all the other batteries, all the other they batteries, gotta be charged. Gotta be charged so proper care and ensure the reliable performance and a long lifespan. At Interstate, we understand this important and our three month rotation program ensures that the batteries you receive are taken care of and at optimum performance when you purchase them. You know, that's, that's really great. That's good to hear. AGM batteries are a smart choice for anyone in the industry in most situations and applications. That is correct. Making sure that they offer several advantages and find applications, the right application in various industries. AGM batteries are reliable and efficient power sourced from automotive to marine to backup power. They serve a wide variety of applications. Yes, sir, they do. Well, thanks for sharing all this valuable information, Jeff. You know, we now have a much better understanding of AGM batteries and their significance in the industry and automotive world. That's important for us to know. You know, with, with we deal with different types of batteries, AGM, EFB, and different types of batteries. It's important to know the right application, right battery for that application for our customers. That's exactly right. And taking care of everybody while they're out there with them, Absolutely. doing the maintenance on them. That's the key thing behind that. So once again, we thank you guys for uh, participating in this. Yeah. If you have questions or comments, please proclinics at IBSA.com. Send them out to us and we'll get them addressed. Thanks. Thank you.